The object 10.8, max length. This is for array lists and collections. We want to write a method named max length. So we'll do public, static. Uh, we don't know the return type yet, so I'll just leave it like this. It's called max length. And we're going to be inside of here. It takes an array of strings, an array list, sorry. So if we pass in a parameter of array list, it's going to look like array list, our type inside of these little carrots. And we'll have a name for it. We'll just do ARR. That's this parameter, and it returns the length of the longest string in the list. If our method is pass an empty list, it should return zero. So let's actually change this to be of type int. Um, and then what we'll do is, if, it, if it's empty, it should return zero. Um, this should be handled, taken care of, uh, automatically. So we shouldn't have to code a special case for this. But um, we'll see if we need to when we check our code. Now, we're going to want to run through this entire array list so we look at every single string inside of it, right? And since we need to look at every string inside of it, we're going to use a for loop. For int some arbitrary value, uh, value variable, a is equal to zero, a has to be less than the entire size of our array list, right? So we'll do arr.size. It's not length like a list. It's different, and we have to use a method uh, because this is an array list. And we'll have a++ so that we can eventually break out of this, and we're going to be inside of here. Now, what we want to do is check to see if our next value is higher than our previous value. So let's actually start this off and make a variable that we can return. int length is equal to zero initially. And that is gonna take care of this because if we don't have anything in this for loop, we'll just return our length, which is zero. And if we do, what we're going to do inside of here is update our length. So to check this, we'll say if, and we want to check our current length against the current element at this index, right? So if our, and it wants to return the longest string. So if our current length is uh, less than our elements, and how we would get our element for an array list is a little bit different than uh, an array. We're going to do our array name, so arr dot. We're going to have get. We're going to pass in the index, which is a. And we want to get the length of this, so length. And we're going to have parentheses here because it's a method. And if this is too, true, we want to reassign length to be equal to our arr dot get a dot length. So we get this length. Um, that's pretty much it. So let's press submit. And we can't find the variable length in class string. So let's look at this. We have our length has to be less than arr. Um, then we have dot get a. And then we have our length right here. So let's see. Um, this looks pretty good. arr dot get a. And then we have our dot length doesn't seem to be anything wrong with this um, might have an issue with this one this one doesn't have parentheses meaning um, that it wasn't calling this method properly so we have the parentheses here just like we had here and that will pass five out of five tests and that's how we do the self-check 10.8 max length